Good afternoon. Didn't really feel like doing much today outside. I'm, I'm kind of sore from yesterday. All that tree trimming and digging up uh, the t tobacco. It's still another nice day outside, but there isn't really anything that I need to do offhand that I can think of. So right now I'm uh, making breakfast. Going to make some French toast. But I'm using uh, an, a special ingredient, or a, not special, but uh, you don't use it every day. So let me give you a, a look of uh, my ingredients. So we have five eggs. I use five instead of, you know, three or four. Because then it gives me scrambled eggs afterwards. Seeing I don't use all the eggs for the French toast. And over here I bought some Safeway Texas toast. Because that's the only way to have your French toast is big thick slices of, of bread with it. You know, not that puny stuff. And the special ingredient I'm using today is eggnog. Yeah, it's on sale. $1.50 a half gallon. I'm not going to uh, pass that up. So that's what I'm going to put into my French toast mi egg mixture today. So the French toast is plated. I'll put some syrup on this. And over here we have the eggs cooking. I just put them in and I'll mix it around, but if you see a lot of smoke in here, don't worry, I'm cooking. Doesn't that look nice and tasty? So those are almost done. And I wanted to show you the pancake syrup. Vanilla spice. Stuff's pretty good. It's cheaper than the other higher brand stuff. It's from Fry's, the Kroger brand, but uh, yeah, it tastes different compared to maple syrup. So that is my breakfast. Yeah, I know. Why am I cooking and showing you that? Because I don't really have anything else to do. And I also had a banana for breakfast, which that will go into the freezer, be frozen, and become worm food later on when I need some. And while I'm back this way, let's have a look at the Christmas cactus. These flowers are getting bigger. I haven't been back here for a couple days to show you these. But yeah, these... Especially this one over here. That's the biggest one I've seen on the plant so far. So it's budding out still. Well, they haven't dropped off because of the moisture I gave them. So I figured I'd give you a shot of what it's looking like right now. In each couple days, I'll I'll give you. A look at it. So using the light eggnog in the French toast wasn't a great idea. It tasted all right in French toast but I couldn't taste anything in the eggs so it's best to use regular eggnog it seems because I've had that before. I've had no problem with the taste in the eggs at least and that's what I wanted it for also was the uh, taste in both of them so I know next time to use regular eggnog instead of this light stuff for making French toast with so I was going to give you a tour or show you of the pumpkins I, I put two two more pumpkins in the flow through that that's in my room and uh, 
you can only see a few worms. I thought within, you know, a couple days they'd be all over it, but it's not happening yet. And uh, that thing desperately needs more bedding, so I guess we won't see it this time of the worms uh, gathering in it. Um, I, I've got to put more bedding in to get the worms up more toward the top and instead of dropping out the bottom for now. Which they'll, they'll do on their own. I mean, not all the worms will migrate up. Some of them like to hang out on the bottom and then drop out onto the uh, bottom of the um, flow through and hang out there. And those will be transplanted into the other bins that I'm making. And speaking of the other bin that I'm making, I'm making up another t 10 gallon. The bins that I bought at Home Depot a couple weeks ago, I'm start finally starting to make up at least one to see um, what gets wet in the container when I put water in it, how much water I need, and the, the process of that, if I need to do it in that bin, or and it looks like I need to do it in another, another bin. I'll show you that right now. So as you can see, I filled the bin up with cardboard and put some egg crates on top. But this stuff is dry toward the top. This is all dry stuff here. So you get down to the water level and then it's wet. So it's not wicking up like it should. Um, the cure for that basically is to use one of the bigger 18 gallon Rubbermaid totes and then put this into it, soak it first so it's all submerged and then put it into the bins. That That's the only way to get around it. And as you can see there's some cardboard soaking. This is the same stuff that I've been soaking for a few weeks now. I used some of it the other day for the tobacco planter out front and the rest of this will go into the flow through which is much needed right now. So the plan to get the new bin started is to soak it all in this one. It's bigger, it can hold more, and it has a deeper depth of water so all the cardboard can get wet in here this would be like the pre-wetter and then get put into the new 10 gallon bins so if you're starting out your worm bins and and are thinking of what to use to wet your cardboard use a bigger container instead of a 10 gallon container to wet your cardboard. Use like an 18, 20 gallon container and then all the cardboard will be wet that way instead of only getting half the bin wet of where the water level is. So thanks for watching today. Hopefully you subscribe and we will see you tomorrow.